Hey guys, welcome to a video on how to create your own Discord bot. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your bot up and running and some basic, um, basic, basic stuffs about Discord bots. So for this to work, uh, we need to install Node.js. So I'll link down, all these uh, links will be down in the description, so um, make sure to check it out. Okay, so once you're in the website, just click on your... Uh, um, just click on the recommended version and just download the recommended version. So basically, it's just a runtime um, built on Chrome AV JavaScript engine. So you can run JavaScript in your machine itself. Okay, so once you downloaded this, um, we need uh, Visual Studio Code. So basically, what this does, it's it's just to use, uh, it's just used to uh, add, uh, to edit code for your computer so you can just edit code and yeah this is one of the better options for code editors all right so um the framework that we're going to use is just current.js it ha is a really popular framework um as you can see here uh 48000 uh 48 million downloads as per um uh, february 2021 and to create your own bot the first thing you want to go is to discordcom developer applications and then once you're in here, you wouldn't see any uh, applications if you haven't uh, made a Discord bot before or uh, OAuth 2 or anything like that. You would see nothing. Don't worry. Just click on new application and we can start creating a new bot. So first, we're gonna, just going to create an application. So I'm just going to call this tutorial bot. Just click on create. Once you're in here, you should see a bot option on the left hand side. Just click on this and then just add a bot. And just, just click on this. Once you're in here, um, you can actually change the bot's uh, profile picture and also the name. And but you can't change its um, tag, cause yeah. And then you want to scroll down and you want to click enable both of those intents, because it's really important. Um, yeah. Okay, just click on save changes to save changes. Once you have that done, just click on O of two. And then we can start inviting the bot to the server. So make sure um, to the server that you want to invite the bot to, you make sure you want to have managed good permissions or you won't be able to add the bot. So just click on bot and just click on application commands and then just click on administrator. So you get all the permissions over here. So just paste the invite link at uh, one of uh, your new tab and then just, just invite the bot to your server. So let me just scroll down to my server which is YouTube tutorials and just click on continue and just click on authorize and let me just finish the captcha real quick okay as you can see here um, it redirected me to discord.com slash oauth slash authorize so if I go to my uh, discord server as you can see here the bot is actually over here so um, now we're going to start uh, configuring our project by creating a folder so let me just go to desktop. Okay, you can use any desktop. Uh, you can use, you can make do this in any form. I'm just gonna do it in desktop because it's the most uh, simplest way to demonstrate this. So click on folder. Just create a folder, uh, like how normally you would create this folder. Okay, and then just um, I'm just gonna rename this to um tutorial bot, tutorial bot. Okay, once you're in here, um, you can just open this. Well, actually, um, you can actually open Visual Studio Code. So let me just open Visual Studio Code, Studio Code, okay. And I'm just gonna click on open a new window. So once you have Visual Studio Code installed, you will see something like this. Okay, so I have a theme applied to my Visual Studio Code. That's why it looks a uh, bluish pale night color, but it should look black uh, for yours. Okay, so um. Once you're in Visual Studio Code, to open your project file, simply just locate the file itself. So how are we going to do this? Just click on File, Open Folder, and just find for the file. So mine is in Desktop, so I'm just going to go to Desktop, and I'm just going to go to Tutorial Bot. Select Folder, and you should open the folder. Okay, perfect. So there is a four, uh, four stuff over here. This create a new file, create a new category, and, and this is reload the files, and then this is um, close all the uh, directories. I mean, um, yeah. 
Okay, and then um, I'm just going to create a simple txt file for a demonstration. So let me just highlight txt. So txt is a text uh, extension. So I'm just going to say hello world in here. Okay, and then just going to save this file. Click over here, save the file. And if I go back to my desktop and then go into the folder, as you can see here, um, it actually changes because um, it's actually this Visual Studio Code is actually editing um, this photo right here. As you can see here, so if I change this to um, YouTube, if I add a YouTube down here, and I save this, okay, and I close this, you can see here YouTube is actually synced. Okay, so let me just delete this because we don't really need this. So to start this project, we're going to initiate this project by doing, uh, let's go to terminal, click on new terminal. Okay, once you're in here, just to npm init dash y. So we just initiate the project for us. And then uh, we need to install the uh, discord.js framework by doing this uh, npm i discord.js. So npm i install discord.js so let's just wait for it to install all right so it's installed as you can see here uh package log.json folder has been popped up um it displays all this uh you don't need to worry about this it's auto uh synced and then uh this is all the uh node modules that we're gonna use okay perfect so um as you can see here, if you go to package.json, you see the main file is actually index.js. So normally, in most of the projects, the main file is going to be index.js. So let me just create a file called index.js. So once you're in this file, we're just going to create a new client. So how are we going to do this? Is we're just going to require the package. So cons discord equals require, require discord.js. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to create a client by uh, we're going to create a bot by doing const bot equals new discord dot client. Okay, perfect. And then we're just going to do this. And then we're going to log into the bot by doing bot dot login. And then we're going to paste the bots token in here. So let me show you how to get the token real quick. Sorry in here and then you want to locate to the bot section make sure you're not taking the client id you make sure you want to get the um, bots token so this bots token is the way for uh, anyone to authorize and use this bot so make sure you keep this um, token private in private so that uh, others can't log in into your bot so just click on copy okay and then just put it in a string so just put a quotation mark and then just paste the um, the uh, login token in here and just save it. Okay, so now we're going to create a ready event. So if the bot is ready and then we're going to lock something. So we're just going to do this by doing bot dot on and then it's, gonna, it's a ready event. So ready. And then once it's ready, we're just going to do console dot log um, the bot is ready and online okay and then um we can actually run the bot by click on terminal you're just going to click on new terminal and we're just going to run the bot by doing node dot okay as you can see here the bot is ready and online so if we go to the server as you can see here the bot is actually online Okay, so perfect. So let me just pull up some examples from Discord.js. So let me just um, demonstrate some examples of getting a bot up and running. Okay, so this we, we already done this, and then um, we're gonna start doing. Uh, we're gonna console log message. So now there's an event called bot dot on message async, or we can just do message. So we're just gonna pass in message, and then we can actually console log message dot content. Content being the uh, message itself, message dot content, and then we can also console log the user by doing message dot author dot tag. 
So it's displaying the uh, content as, and also the author's tag. Let me just save this. Let me just run the bot again. Okay, to do this, just simply do CTRLC or Command C, and then you'll be able to go to the next line and restart it. Okay, and then, um, so if I type something here, like hello world, as you can see here, it will actually show the message content. As you can see here, over here, message content and the tag. Okay, so my tag is um, recon, uh, uh, and then hashtag 8448, and it's right here. Okay, so now it's perfect. So let me just make some commands. Um, so we're gonna make this some commands by doing some basic if statements. So if the message dot content is equals to um ping, and then we're just going to do message dot channel dot send pong. So what if the message content is ping? Right here, if the message content is ping, we're just gonna send pong. So let me just try this again. Okay, and then let me just go to this Discord server. And if I run ping, the bot reply pong. Okay, so we can do this a couple of times, a lot of times actually. You can make this. Uh, so yeah, this is how you make your own Discord bot. It's actually really simple. Um, if you need help, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye.